Hi everyone. So today we have Dr. Grace Blitzer. She's a PGY3 for radiation oncology at the University of Wisconsin. She's very passionate about uh, patient education. So as a thoracic oncologist, I always get questions about what is a CT simulation and what is all of that. In all honesty, sometimes I try to explain it and I'm pretty sure I don't do a good job. So we have Dr. Blitzer. So, so first, uh, she's going to tell us what is radiation? Hi, yes. So radiation is high energy x-rays that can be used to kill cancer cells. Uh, that's, so what does it mean that I have to get a simulation? What is that? Yes. So each person gets their own individualized radiation plan. So we need a CT scan of the part of your body that will be getting radiation so that we can design your radiation plan specifically for you. So getting, getting a simulation means you're going to make a mole on myself? Good question. Sometimes. It depends on what part of your body. If you were getting radiation to your brain or to your head or neck, we would make a mask. If you were getting radiation to the lungs, we often will make a mold. The goal with all of this is to get a really good image of you in a position that we can treat day after day. So every day you'll be in the exact same position. Okay. Can I get radiation before getting a simulation? You can't. We use that to plan your radiation. Okay. So one question I often get asked by patients is, what is the role of the radiation oncologist? Yes, that varies a lot depending on what site of cancer you have, what kind of cancer you have. But in general, we're a key part of your cancer team. Your medical oncologist gives you the chemotherapy drugs, often through an IV, and we do the radiation, and that's designed to help very focused area to kill off the cancer. So if you had lung cancer, we do radiation to a very small part of your lung, for example. So we're part of it that help with local control. We're a little bit like a surgeon, but without any scalpels. That's a very good um, example. So Dr. Blixer, one question is, what will happen at the simulation? So what happens is you come into that room with a CT scanner and you'll lie down on the treatment table and the therapist there will help get you in the exact position that you'll be treated in. They might use pillows to make sure you're comfortable. They might make a mask to keep your head in the exact same position or a mold. There's lots of different tools and props to keep you in the exact same position. And when you're in the right position for what cancer you have and where we need to treat, then that table will slide back into the CT scanner and we'll take a CT scanner. You get that picture and that'll go to our computers to do radiation plan. The scan itself is really short, usually about five seconds or so. And certain scans will use IV contrast um, to kind of help delineate, to help show where the blood vessels are and where the cancer is. Then some scans might use a certain kind of breathing where we'll ask you to take a deep breath and hold it to help keep your lungs still. So is that simulation painful? Good question. It is not at all. It's the exact same as any other CT scan you've gotten or x-ray you've gotten. You don't see it, hear it, feel it. All you have to do is lie down and stay, stay nice and still. So what if he, the patient is not comfortable in the position that he has or she has been set up by the tech? Yes, they can do? that's a really important thing. If you're not comfortable, let's say we ask you to lie flat on your back and you just can't do it, it hurts your back, that's no problem. We can do different wedges and pillows, ways to make you comfortable. It's, that's the most important thing is that you're comfortable and able to lie still. Okay, so the patients can say, I don't feel comfortable. Absolutely. Because that will determine how they're going to be positioned in the future, right? Exactly. This scan is exactly how you'll be lying for your radiation treatments. And those sometimes you'll be lying there for 5, 10, even 15 minutes. So it's important you can hold that position. Sometimes we ask our breast cancer patients to lie with an arm over their head. And if you have arthritis in your shoulder or can't move your hand for whatever reason, just let us know and we can, we can absolutely have you move your arm to a different position. 
what is the machine? Like, it's so scary. So she's going to explain a little bit about that. The machine you'll see is a, a firm table that has kind of a donut at the end of it that that table slides through. And that's what actually takes the CT scan. So Dr. Blixer, uh, one question is, what if the patient has a tattoo? Can the patient get radiation or a simulation? Yes, absolutely. Having a tattoo over the area you get radiation is no problem. Sometimes, in order to keep you in that exact same position day after day for your treatments, we might need to give you a very small tattoo. It's about like doing an ink dot with your pen. And they'll do that at the machine and talk you through exactly what they need to do. But they might have to do that, you know, in three different spots to make sure you line up the exact same way. The same so thing who, you who might- does that, Who does the tattoos? The therapist at the machine. So when you're on the table, you'll notice that there might be some lasers kind of crisscrossing going like this and like this over you as you're lying on that CT scanner table. And those lasers are the same ones that would be in your treatment room for the radiation. And those lasers help make sure one more safety check of getting you in the exact same position. And sometimes they'll need to do those little ink dot tattoos where those lasers cross. Are the tattoos painful? They aren't painful. It's like any other needle prick. It's not comfortable, but it doesn't last. The pain does not last. And the patients, we had those tattoos for the rest of their life? That is something, yes. If you, for any reason, don't want that tattoo, let your therapist know, let us know. And we can do other things, um, use permanent marker and kind of clear saran wrap over your skin and ask you not to scrub at that in a shower. But usually if your treatment's over weeks and weeks, it's pretty hard not to scrub in the shower for weeks. So Dr. Blixer, uh, one of my last questions is, so what happened after the patient gets the simulation? Yes, that's an important question. After you get your CT scan, then it's up to us, your radiation oncologist. It's our job to do all the work from here on out. We use that scan to show, to figure out exactly where your cancer is, how we wanna do our radiation beams to treat that, while avoiding any important structures like lungs, heart, spinal cord. And that can take sometimes weeks, I mean, in one or even two, three weeks to plan that out. Okay. And after um, all that, you get to come in and get your treatment started. So between the simulation and the treatment can be several weeks. Is that yes. correct? Yes. So what was your last message for these patients, for our patients that are, you know, afraid about the, the radiation, in particular the simulation, because they may have an oncologist like me that cannot be as detailed about it. So what would be the last message for our patients to learn about this process? Yeah, this is, the CT scan is a really important and useful first step for us for planning the radiation, but also for you to see what is it going to be like to lie in my treatment position? You know, what is it like to have that mask holding my head still? And it's really a time for you to work with our therapist for whatever is comfortable for you. This is not meant for you to be in 20 minutes of pain while you're holding still. It's meant for us to work with you. Well, thank you, Dr. Blitzer. We are looking forward to doing more videos about radiation with you. And uh, have a good night.